Hey, what's going on guys? Leroy from Noisegate, and I just wanted to do a quick video on the new 3.0.2 software update for Traktor. And more specifically, I just wanted to give two um, examples of my favorite features um, for this update. Um, we now have the ability to be able to custom map um, individual controls for the S4 MK3 and the S2 MK3. Uh, this was, um, we were able to do this with the um, previous versions um, of the Tractor hardware. However, they brought it forward finally for um, Tractor Pro 3. Now for any users out there that aren't familiar with what this means, I'm just gonna give you a quick example. So here on my S2, um, I have a quantize button here, which is what that is at the top there. Now I don't often use quantizing in my DJ mixes. However, what I do use a lot is recording, recording internally in my sets here. And you can see that here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map this quantize button to the record button in Traktor. So that all I need to do when I'm DJing is just hit the quantize button and it will automatically start recording for me. So to do this, we just need to go to our settings controller manager and you'll see up here that it's got the tractor control s2 mk3 hardware selected now i'm just going to go add and i'm going to go down to loop recorder and i'm going to re record so this will be the button that will um it that the quantize button will be mapped to in which it will trigger go down here to click learn and then on the hardware i'm going to press the quantize button and you can see that it's registered that in the software and then down in the interaction mode, I'm gonna to go toggle. So it'll toggle on and off the um, record button. And down the bottom, I'm just gonna click learn again to confirm it. Now, when I start playing my track, you can see I have input there. And now when I press quantize, it would directly start recording the audio. The second feature that has been brought forward in this update is um, the touchless CDJ mode for the S4 and the S2 MK3. Essentially what this means is it will disable the jog wheel for scratching. So obviously this is ideal for uh, users who aren't using the jogs for scratching or anything like that, or who we want to use manual, if they're just only using it for um, pitch bending. So if we go up into the settings, select our S2 MK3, ideally if you're using the S4, you could select it there as well. And here where we have jog wheel, either select scratch or pitch bend. So if I select the pitch bend now, close this, and I start playing my track, you'll notice that whenever I move the jog, it doesn't move the track, it will only allow it to pitch bend forward or backwards. So obviously ideal for DJs who aren't using uh, it for scratching uh, and are a little nervous of um, accidentally bumping the, um, the deck and um, stuffing up their mix. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll catch you next time.